Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster. I'm evaluating Kim's number eight speech from the Competent Communicator Manual, Getting Comfortable with Visual Aids. As Evans mentioned, the purpose of the speech is to present a speech that uses two or more visual aids, and they must be appropriate for the message in the audience and display them with ease and confidence. And I think Kim did a great job really presenting herself well. She said that she didn't prepare as much as she usually does for a speech, but I don't think it showed at all. I think you came out very poised and confident with your presentation. She had a few problems that, that I knew of going in. One is the super special clicker, which allows you to roam the room while you talk. It wasn't, wouldn't work for her, so she had to use the, click, the keyboard. I think she did a good job overcoming that. She was able to tap her slide, let it come up, and still make use of the, of the space up here and still stay in touch with her audience, keep her body centered, which sometimes is hard to do. People get focused on their slides. She didn't do that. Also, a very, very good use of your visual aid. She asked me to look at her body language. And early on in your speech, you did a really, you were doing a lot of emphasis with your body. Thank you. You use quote fingers, you know a lot of good use of your body language. You do tend to stay like this, and I do the same thing, so it's, if that's something that you're worried about. I didn't think it detracted at all, but some people recommend a wider use of your, of your body language. As far as the visual aids go, I thought your slides were, were really good. They didn't distract from your, from your speech. Sometimes people get up with slides and they put the words that you use to describe the slides, sometimes they put the, the words on their slides, and it gets hard for the, for the person who's watching to both look at the slides and get what you're trying to get off the slides and then listen to you, especially if there's a difference. One of the comments I have was that your, your second slide was the, came up and you were like, oh, I already talked about that. Um, not a big deal, just move on, but that's a, I think you probably realize that's a preparation thing. So if you have, have the time and you're given a visual presentation, to go through that a couple times. You mostly avoided what I call like slideshow items. Um, this is a picture of, of the dog. You had, you had some slides with many pictures. Oh, this is when Boo Boo got this. And, you, know, <laughs> you did a good job of avoiding that and making sure that you, you know, your slides spoke for themselves and not getting into describing each picture on your slide, which can, when you, when you get the dogs or kids, I mean, I get sucked into that stuff too. So I thought you did a good job of that. One recommendation I have for you is, if you can do it, if you have your slideshow up here, that you can see the slides while you're going, it keeps you from having to turn around a lot, and that might help you, especially if you're giving a presentation with more information. Um, so overall, I really enjoyed evaluating your speech today. You did a great job, very confident, as I said, and I look forward to your 9 and 10 speeches. Thank you.